Um, okay. Um, there are uh, many debates in Hungary too about the World War One, um, and I think um, it's too difficult uh, to introduce it. So that's why uh, I've chosen another topic, uh, the war monuments, um, which uh, are set in Budapest. Uh, at first, um, I will try to show uh, some uh, historiog historiographical uh, view of these monuments. Then uh, I will show uh, the photos of these monuments. Uh, we found 35 uh, war, uh, open air war monuments in Budapest. And then uh, I will uh, summarize uh, our experiences. At first, um, as we know, uh, the World War I uh, caused many changes in Europe. Um, it's difficult uh, to find a common point of view because every country has a different history. Uh, if we are talking about borders, economics, politics, nationalism, or diplomacy. But there is a way uh, to find a transnational perspective of the world casualties. The total number of military and uh, civilian casualties in World War I uh, was over 37 million. Over 16 million deaths and 20 million wounded. Every participating country suffered a great loss. The memory of these deaths can be a common ground for European history. Talking about Hungary, we still don't know the exact number of casualties. The country was part of the post hungarian Empire and the statistics were made at that level. At the beginning of the war, uh, Austria-Hungary's population <coughs> was uh, 51 million. During the war, 8 million men were mobilized as soldiers. Uh, over 1 million died. Um, almost 2 million injured, and uh, above 2 million became prisoners of the war. It means that Austria-Hungary's casualties were above 5 million people, which is about 10% of the total population. According to the estimation of the Hungarian Ministry of Defense, uh, 660,000 Hungarian soldiers died during the First World War. Uh, the whole population of Hungary was about 10, 20 million, so it means uh, that about uh, the 3.3% of the population died on the battlefield. It also means uh, that almost every family uh, mourned somebody, as in every other belligerent European country. The Marne uh, not stayed on family level. In 1916, an album was released with 80 drafts about Blenborg monuments. Uh, then, the Eighth Act uh, in 1917 ordered that every city, town, or settlement must set a monument uh, to the memory of its deceased soldiers. Later, uh, the Fourteenth Act in 1924 stated that the last Sunday of May will serve as a war commemoration day. Why was it important to set monuments? Most of the Hungarian deceased are resting besides the one-time battlefields, which were outside of Hungary's post-war borders. Just about um, 40,000 uh, known war graves are inside Hungary. Traveling was not easy in the 20s, so it was a natural need to set monuments as a remembrance of the dead heroes of the community. The regime uh, legitimated these claims with the mentioned acts. We can find nowadays uh, countless statues, reliefs, obelisks, crosses, etc., uh, which were set to remind uh, to the fallen soldiers of the Great War, and most of them were <coughs> before 1945. After the World War II, everything changed. The losses of uh, this war were closer, and the communist regime didn't support uh, the cult of the World War I heroes. Uh, Lenin's uh, thesis uh, about the World War I became a dogma, the thesis which stated that the World War I was an imperialist predatory war to redistribute the world. Uh, this meant a stigma for the people who were involved in the war, so it was not fortunate to speak about it freely. I mentioned earlier that there are about uh, 40,000 known war graves now in Hungary. This number is very low, but it was higher before the communist era. From the 50s, the war graves were systematically erased or just weren't cared anymore. The most serious destruction was done against, was done against uh, the war cemetery of Rakos Keresztúri in Budapest. The cemetery had 20 parcels and uh, 
50 meter high statue in the middle. Uh, 18,000 soldiers uh, rested there, and um, 10,000 was Hungary, were Hungarian. <coughs> After the 30 years mandatory period of gravekeeping, the entire cemetery was demolished. We don't know uh, about such an act in other countries. In the 60s and the 70s, it became free earth <coughs> World War I, but uh, just the change of regime allowed full freedom to speak about the people participating in the war. And uh, today's uh, historical uh, debates is not just about politics or diplomacy, or, uh, but uh, it's about the people who, who, who were served as army men or uh, served in the, in the hinterland uh, to serve the country. And now, uh, the war movement. Uh, at first, uh, I must uh, thank uh, my colleagues at Wibor.hu, uh, which is a historical portal. I'm the editor of editor in chief uh, of this portal. My two colleagues, uh, King Varoyku and Andrea Janesh, have done great field work uh, this summer. Um, they uh, looked for uh, the war monuments in the world <coughs> and uh, make it, uh, made photos from uh, about uh, these monuments. Uh, they found 35 uh, statues and 19 memorial plaques uh, all over the city. Uh, I will now just concentrate uh, on the statues. Okay, um, here's the first one. Uh, I'm not an art historian, so uh, <laughs> I, won't, um, I won't analyze uh, these statues. I'm just uh, showing them to you. Uh, it's in the 16th district. Uh, it's about... Uh, the sportman heroes, and it was set in 1922 uh, by Vildo Monkos. Uh, it's been renewed uh, in 2009 by Miklós Tud and József Tudás. Um, I am uh, <laughs> I'm following uh, the timeline uh, in the setting of these movements. Uh, the second one uh, is at uh, Ludovica Square, uh, it was set in 1924. Uh, the Ludovica Square is uh, in the 8th district, and uh, this uh, monument uh, is uh, before the um, It's a university for uh, national civil service. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, the third one, uh, also uh, set in 1924, uh, it's in the in this district, uh, to be a square by the Walter Debrecen, it has also been renewed uh, after the change of regime uh, in 1997. Uh, uh, another renewed uh, statue, it was also set in 1924, uh, it has been renewed in uh, 2001. It's in the uh, 17th district. Then the 14th district, uh, Another uh, statue by Jan Sistov, uh, it was set in 1925. And um, there are many, many uh, statues uh, which were set before 1945. Um, we will see uh, that um, <coughs> the, uh, from the 35 monuments, 33 uh, were set before 1945. Okay, uh, this one is Margaret Island, uh, it's a monument uh, about the Yugoslavian Association. Uh, another monument uh, at the 20, uh, 22nd uh, district, Savoya Yenu Square, set uh, in 1926. Um, we will show that uh, Hero Square. Um, there are many hero square in Budapest, not just the, the one, uh, almost everyone knows. Um, I think many, four, four or five, five hero squares are in Budapest, and uh, most of them uh, has a m monument to about Hungarian history. Okay, uh, here's a statue uh, at the University of uh, Technology. Um, it's very uh, difficult to find. Uh, I think it was all day to find it. <laughs> But uh, it was set in 1927, and it was uh, also renewed in 1993. <coughs> um, another statue uh, in the 19th district at uh, Kispest Templom uh, Ter by Josef uh, Hibble. Uh, it was set in 1928. 
Uh, another one in the Margaret Island, uh, it was set by the National Nautical Association in 1928. Um, now we are back to the 8th district uh, at uh, Orci Garden. Uh, this monument uh, was set in 1928. Um, another one uh, in 1928 uh, in Zaza on Dash Street. Um, it's in the 14th district. Uh, and it's the near of uh, my, uh, my high school uh, where I uh, finished my studies. Um, the uh, third district, uh, Baker Square, uh, 1928, uh, by Dula Jankovic, uh, it has been uh, restored uh, in 1985, but uh, the full renewal uh, was made uh, just in 1992. Uh, another one uh, at Edetem Square uh, is before the Schloran University of Science, the Faculty of Law. Uh, it was set in 1930. Um, this uh, is not a statue uh, which you see. Uh, it's in the seventh district. Uh, it's called the Heroes uh, Church and it's part of the synagogue. The synagogue uh, and uh, it was set in 1931. Another one in the fourth district. Uh, it was set in 1931. Okay, uh, another one, uh, second district, the uh, Square, and it was set in 1932. Uh, back to the eighth district, uh, I think it's the third statue in the district. Uh, it's called uh, it's on the Harlins Kettyshek. The Harlins Kettyshek means uh, 32 square. Uh, 32 uh, 30 second uh, was the uh, was the uh, army of Budapest uh, in the Austria Hungary. In the <coughs> 12th district, Diana Road, uh, it was set in 1934. And uh, <coughs> another one, uh, it's in the Buda Castle in the 1st district. Um, it was set in 1935. Um, yes, uh, it's a strange one in Monument uh, because uh, it has been altered, but we haven't found any data about when and how. Uh, if you um, see uh, these numbers, uh, it has been uh, fully changed. It's a reminder uh, to the um, Hungarian revolutions uh, in 18. Uh, 48 and uh, 1956. Yes, uh, another one in the 17th district, uh, another hero square. Uh, it was set in 1936 and it was renewed in uh, 2008. Uh, another outer district, uh, the 18th district, Kosovo uh, Lajos Square, was set in 1936, uh, renewed also in uh, 2008. Then we are back to the inner city, it's the 6th district, uh, Isabella Square, it was set in 1937. Uh, uh, another <coughs> outer district um, monument uh, at the uh, Benningis district, it was set in 1940. Um, now to the 12th district again, um, it was set by uh, Zsigmond Kispadovi Strobel and in 1940. <coughs> And we are back to Ludovica Square, it's the second uh, monument there. Uh, it was set in 1942 and uh, was renewed uh, in 2012. Uh, now the 18th district, uh, Nemes uh, Square, well, Square Street, it was set in 1943. And now um, this is a monument at Fővantér. Uh, I think so far uh, this is the only monument uh, which was set between 1945 and uh, 1989. Uh, and then uh, this is the last one. Uh, it was set <coughs> in 2004 uh, in the Venice district. Emlékezés uh, terre means Remembrance Square. Now, uh, if you want to uh, summarize uh, these experiences, uh, there are 35 uh, open air uh, monuments, uh, 33 uh, was set uh, before 1945, 10 uh, were renewed after 1989, <coughs> only one was set uh, 
between 1945 and 1989, and only one was set after uh, 1989. And uh, if we see the renewal dates, uh, none of these uh, monuments were renewed in this year. Uh, and it's strange because this year uh, is a memorial year for the First World War. And um, I think um, we should uh, pay more attention to these monuments because uh, these are not just monuments. Uh, of the dead Hungarian soldiers, but these are the monuments of the suffering of the people uh, during the First World War. And thank you for your attention.